So what I'm going to do next is um, start to, I'm going to work on this, and then we're going to create this uh, sort of bronze texture. So same deal as before. I'm just going to make this live, uh, hold shift and right click, and draw two cubes, a sort of a bigger one like this. And then I'm going to take that off, hit Control D, bring that out, and then scale that in. This is going to be our metal plate. And um, let's go to face mode. I'm going to hit 4, delete that inside face. Inside face for this one. Now, the way I'm going to create this is I'm not going to model that key keyhole. We're going to do that inside of Substance. But what I am going to do is duplicate this square and then position it something like this. Looks like it takes up a good chunk of the space. And I'm going to exaggerate it just a little bit because I want it to be prevalent when we're modeling. So I'm going to right click, go to vertex mode, select these back verts, hit R and scale them out. Now the way I'm going to create the cylinder is I'm going to insert a loop here in the front, and then I'm going to insert another loop here, and then smooth that out. So shift right click, go down to smooth, and I, it gives me a completely quadded out cylinder. We can actually get rid of some of these loops. If this was a high, uh, high resolution piece, so I'm sorry, I double click the edge and hold control and backspace to get rid of them. I would actually leave one of the loops in there, give myself, um, like, you know, like if this was going to be a big rendered piece, I'd add, leave those cuts and I would add like a nice curvature. But right now we're going to do all that in texture. All right, so let's quickly unwrap this. By now, you should be comfortable with knowing how to unwrap the cubes, but we'll do that really quickly. And then I'll pause the video, do the next one, and then I'll do this one. So, same thing as before, face mode. Let's take this off so it's a little bit easier to see. Double click that, let's hide everything. Shift, right click, mapping, planar map on uh, Z. Edge mode. Shift, double click. Then Shift X in here, UV mode and then just do unfold easy enough right and actually a way to save time is delete this one copy well it looks like I got two come on delete this one there we go duplicate this pull it out into R and scale it in so something like that. Now for this, um, this one's pretty easy. You think about it as we really could just right on the front, planar map Z, UV mode, and then unfold it. Let's optimize that a little bit. What I like to do with things that are like cylinders that are cut out that we're looking at from the front is I cut those four edges and then I unfold it. And it gives me a nice, uh, really nice setup. Yeah, I was like wondering why it looked a bit smushed, but that's because this is smushed. See, th something to notice too is that it's in direct correlation to your model, right? So if I hit unfold again, actually, I think I, I need to do some cleaning. So let's do uh, history for all and freeze transform. Well, let's try that one more time. See how it, it cleaned up the optimization. See, that's, that's always a problem uh, if you forget to do that. So what I'm going to do is position this right here, roughly the same size as that. So, And then I have both of these already unwrapped. So let's position them right next to each other. Actually, we could probably stack them. OK. 
combine this. What we could do is, if you want to, if you don't want it to be so, uh, well, I guess we'll just do the same thing, same process before combine. Delete half. Mirror. And then same deal. History, freeze transform, just cleaning our model. Let's export all this out. Now, I think this isn't going in. Let me double check both of these guys. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's do that one more time. History, clean all that up, export all. Now, remember, I forgot to do it, so let's jump back into Maya really quick. Go to face mode, select everything, assign existing material. And sometimes it really won't when you go in here and you do this, it won't assign it. So history, let's export all. Rebake everything. All right, so grab your paint tool, hit four. Make sure we're all the way on black and we do not want any of this included. Same thing in here. We don't want any leather on this. All right, so let's go ahead and make our texture. So let's start off by grabbing um, a bronze material. So let's go to our materials here. I'm gonna type in bronze. Ooh, that looks nice, but oxidizing brown, so it looks good. Maybe we can go with the brass. Yeah, let's grab, this looks a little bit like this picture as a base, so let's drop that here. And then let's do a painted steel. Uh, something like this underneath it to show like what's gonna wear through it, right? Um, I don't like this blue, so I'm gonna go with like more of a dark gray, because that's gonna be the scratches that show up underneath. All right, let's see if that how that looks. All right, so on this one, I'm gonna add a new mask. It doesn't matter the color. Then I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna add a generator. Let's do MG Metal Edge this time. So you can see right off the bat, we're getting some nice stuff. If we invert it, you can see we get a little bit of wear around that edge, right? So like if, remember what we're playing with here is um, under this metal wear, right? We have our edge smoothness, right? Like how close we want that to wear off the edge. Our ambient occlusion mask, which is what we're working off of, right? And then our curvature map, which remember, if we look at our curvature map now, you can see that all the white lines that are around, it's kind of hard to see. But anyway, the, the, the amount of curvature you want, right? Like depending on how worn you want that, that keyhole to be. Another thing to point out is the wear level, right? And then if we up the contrast here, let's zoom in on this, you can see it really shows in between from the base. So here's the amount of wear. So we can see that um, painted steel underneath. I want to make sure that this is inverted though, because I want to play off of that amount of, see here's our wear level our contrast. I really want it to show because it's sort of an older suitcase. So 
So I'm just kind of playing with this now. Like, you can do the same. See what you like. Maybe something like this. All right, so for this this keyhole here, because it's already masked out on those other layers, I'm gonna go ahead and just create it the same way we did the other one. So above this, this brass layer, uh, I'm gonna make a blank layer and I'm gonna name it keyhole. And hit one for my brush. And I'm gonna go with my hard brush here. And this one I can just leave completely black. Pull the height all the way in. If you hold, if you hold uh, control and right mouse, you can go down. It's the front button or the tip on the uh, pen, that front button. So let's go ahead and create something like this. I I like kind of like not doing it perfect because it shows like it's more realistic. All right. Um, something else like when we look at our baked lighting we want to start looking at thinking about like how do we uniform the look right like it looks realistic but how do we really get it to look more uniform and that word falls under sun and sky and you can adjust for example some sort of uniform bounce light coming off and you can see that it's filling it all if i hit c for color you can see and then m for material all right now if we look at our reference there's a few circles here and stuff um and this this clasp here it might be a good idea you could kind of do those on your own really I would just create two more cylinders on and I just shove them on here all right so I'm going to hold that off because I believe at this point you should be able to do that uh, and I might tackle I'm gonna tackle stitching or we'll look at some other good stuff in the next video